Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. This is going to be the last video about the Mary UI. And in this video, I want uh, to add here, when we have a text area for the content, I want to add the Markdown Editor because I had a comment in YouTube. So if I open the Mary UI, go to documentation, and here we have third parties. And we have the markdown editor here okay but first what i want to do so if i come here and create a new post let's say just new post add the slug and some description okay it's going to create but if i open here and close and now open to create a new post it's going to show us the error because i forgot to add something so if i say save yeah we have the error because it's going to trigger the update button and that's it so if i open here the post index class okay so here we have the show model so when we click uh, this one is going to call this show model and this is going to call this form reset so you're going to reset any property we have inside the form and then open the model so it post model the true but when we click here and open the model we're going to call this edit method this is going to open is going to create a post and then it's going to say set post then it's going to say edit mode to true and the edit mode is going when we click here it's going to remain true because we are not resetting here so when you call save the edit mode is true and it's going to say this form update for that we need just to be sure, just add this edit mode to be false. And now let's try, refresh, open, close. Let's create a new post, test, test and something here. Save and now it's going to save that, good. Now let's add the markdown. So make sure you have this. So I'm going to copy that and let's open the app file inside the components layouts and I'm going to add this one and also we need to add the CSS and JS for easy MD so I'm going to add it right here save and I think we are okay run the PHP artisan storage link I have done that next what we need is the add the component x markdown so let's open the app sorry the post dash index and when we have the form here we have the content the text area i'm going to comment this and let's add the markdown just make sure to say mary dash here and let's save and let's see also we need to add the form dot content for the wire model over the project refresh if i open now here we have the markdown editor but it's empty and this is empty because uh, the component the markdown component is loaded from the js and in this case right now the form content is empty because initially if I open the VS code and let's go to posts uh, form open the post form and we have here the content is null so then when we open the model this is not going to update because that is loaded if we had a page to edit the post and we navigate there is this is going to be populated but right now what we can do is let's go to post index and when we have added the mary markdown we can check let's say a template first and i would add x if and here i'm going to say the markdown is going to be loaded only if dollar sign wire dot post model is true otherwise this is not going to be loaded so when the model is opened 
is going to be open only if we call this if we hit this button or this one when we hit this one this is going to call the edit so let's open the post index edit and this is going to say this form set post so it's going to populate the title uh, content and the slug and then it's going to change the edit mode the true and the post model the true so when this post model is true on the edit mode the form content is populated which mean the markdown is going to render with the form content populated so let's see so i think you would understand if i click now we have here the content also if i click to this one we have the same thing let's update let's say we to make this bold save and if i open again we have this one if I open the open the new post, we have something else. So let's say just uh, first save, open this one, and say second. Okay, this is how we can use this uh, markdown editor inside the model. Because if we had a page, it's no problem. Now, the last thing I want to do in this. Uh, project I want to make this search working so let's open the post index and here we have the input and I'm going to add here the wire model and I'm going to call live here to be equal with let's name it search we don't have this the search property so let's go on the post index class and create public dollar sign search which is going to be empty and then when we on inside the render method when we render the post instead of post all I want to say where where the title Is going to be like this search and call get that. If I save that, refresh, let's create a new post again. Uh, here we have new post test and I'm going to create this same second post. Okay. And let's add header for example here. And I'm going to make this header uh, 2 or header 3. Save that. So we have new post test and the second post. Now if I search for the new post and what is just a hit new here, we filter them and we have only the new post. Uh, let's say test. We have only the test. And of course, if I say second, we have only the second one. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video and all about the Mary UI, what I wanted to show you. And if you like such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next tutorial. All the best and thank you very much.